So, you make it to the cavern level of this below the temple. You guys explored right here, this area. You, you um, were able to detect an, the lizard folk ambush as they were hiding in the pool right there and able to, 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 uh, to defeat them. Stabby went ham on at least one of them. And, uh, but you did manage to capture four, uh, four in, uh, without killing them. I mean, at the current, at the moment, your little black dragon wormling companion is munching down on one of them. Uh, then you <laughs> peeked your head in here, saw a bunch of, fi saw a bunch of fire beetles and decided, nah, you're good. And then explored, uh, up, up above the, the, the little waterfall here. You, you defeated a carrion crawler and, uh... For some odd reason, you decided that, you know, taking two carrying crawler eggs would be uh, a good idea. And that's where we are. So, what do you guys want to do? All right. Um, so, kind of remember thinking that we were something around here. Was that uh, Barik? Barik thinks that there must be something around here. This place is kind of odd. Mm -hmm. You know what to do. And I think we, um, at least I was thinking about going to, like, just follow the river, either upstream or down. But I, I think we were not decided on, on which way to go. I think upstream it was like uh, a, like a cave only like a, like no a you, the the the, the upstream the uh, the tunnel and the in yeah, the little just... stream keeps going like just on. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So maybe going down. Yes. But I think, yeah. Right. Oh, you guys know where to carefully pass the the, the fire beetles. Oh snap! All right, so you make it down. You make it down the waterfall again, and you're back in the main room where you where you came out of the crypt level. <laughs> Ebony, stop munching on that. Uh... Creature. We gotta investigate this statue. <laughs> uh, but we I think did. we did already. Because right? I think I think that once we got there, like they attacked us right over there. Um, no, I think we no. explored it and got something out of it, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we got the it. eyes were gems. Okay, I remember. Ah, uh, the eyes were gems, right? Between that and the two eggs. Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah, I think we were just gonna go head down, downstream, down the river. Okay, yeah. Mm. Stay, stay near Ebony and Megan. Where are you? Oh, here. I'm... Megan, I can try to go stealthy. I right. can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Megan, Megan, wait. So as you, you get... carry me, I don't want to get wet. As you get close, as you get closer, you know, to the uh, the actual uh, as the river drains from the pool, it start you know the it starts to slope down and curve to the and curve to the right there. Um, the middle is about five feet deep, making it difficult terrain to to, to walk in. Um, and you in the current in the current is actually uh, uh, pretty decent. Okay, then I'll repeat my request. Uh, Machen, please, please carry me on your shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> Deeper than most of us. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, can can I swim? I mean... Hmm. Do I need to hold on to the walls? Or something. Uh, we can try to to 
to run through the walls, like through the cracks. All right. Like so, the wall dumb, like rock climbing. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna try to like scooch along the edge there. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like it. Sounds like a good plan. But also, from where you are, it opens up a little bit more. We should. All right, so keep a row just in case. So enormous. So that little ledge right there. Enorm you see enormous mushrooms grow atop a natural moss-covered shelf that runs along the south side of the underground river for about twenty-five feet. Okay. I relay the information to the others. We should, we should investigate them better. They, they could be poisonous. Be careful. All right. So oh, that's actually true. So whoever is going to try to um, walk along the edge there, give me a athletics if you have it. If not, just a regular strength or dexterity, whichever one you have is best for you. I'm just gonna hang on to Machen. <laughs> Damn, Serafina did it actually very good. Yeah. Wow, Barry. Oh, both. Not of you. as good as oh. me, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for the moment, you you uh managed I to scramble like a cobalt. So, uh, Serafina uses her brute dwarven strength to to just cling to the rocks while. Uh, Barik accustom you know, be a cobalt and, uh, and accustomed to life in these kind of environments, knows how just how to just where to put his hands and stuff to for the best grip. But you manage to stay like on your tiptoes along the edge of the wall, and Macon's gonna do the same thing. <laughs> And making fails. Oh snap! No. I'm gonna try to grab them. She's my mom. All right, Stabby, hold on. Okay, so so making start <laughs> so making starts to loses her footing or in grip and starts to slip into the river. Um, you got you. Uh, Barig is not close by, but Zarafina and Stabby get one reaction. Okay. Well, I try to grab oh, Stabby. <laughs> and from I'll try to Okay, I'll I'll reach out to both Machin and Serafina. Uh with a dexterity is it? Or acrobatics? Yeah, or... Uh no, uh, de uh dexterity. Dexterity saving throw. Do I roll it too? Um, yeah, you uh, you need, need to see if you uh, 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 grab her in time. You did reach out for it, right? Yeah. Then yeah, you get, uh, roll yourself a so dexterity uh... as well. So I think Serafina was reaching out to me, and I was reaching out to both. Um, not, not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Actually, you're very okay. So you're clinging to life. <laughs> okay, so wait, wait. Okay, so Stabby's is reaching out to. Um... I'm trying to grab Zerafina's hand, but also hang on to Machen. Okay, and Zerafina's trying to grab you. Holding on for your life. Yeah. All right. Everybody's trying to grab everybody. <laughs> Group hug. Group hug. Let's hold on. Okay, so. Uh, what's your priority, Stabby? Who 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 do you who would you most like to keep um, hold of? Oh my god! Oh crap! Why this question is so difficult? <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh. <laughs> 
I'll hang on to Serafina. To Serafina. All right, then roll. Um, roll a strength check. Strength. My worst ability. I believe in you. Do I have anything like special? Like, could grant me something? Um, can't, uh, can't is this is like a reaction. This is like a reaction. I don't have time to cast anything. No, you don't have time to cast anything. You, okay. <gasps> Whoa. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, so here's what happens. A miracle. Zerafina manages it's to grab hold of Stabby. Stabby manages to grab hold of uh, Macon. Oh, but the rules of physics kick in where you're a tiny cat and she's a very um, hefty young woman in um, <laughs> some yeah. leather armor. Um, so you ever see the cartoons where like you're just kind of stretched, you know? <laughs> you manage to, to hang on for dear life to both of them. Meowch. But meanwhile, yeah. you're you're. It's almost like you're on the rack. Yes. <laughs> Ow. So, Ouch. Zer, uh, well, you have I a hold of Zer- Zerfina. You want to try to pull them up, or are you just gonna let them hang there for a bit? Uh, I, I'm trying to hold on. Uh, I'm trying to hold on. All right, then uh, you also make a make a strength Don't a strength let- check. Don't let go. I thought Stabby. about twenty was. <laughs> Don't let go. Hold on. Okay, this this turn alone you managed you managed to not to uh not let go, but you're but you're you're kinda trying to pull against gravity here, so you made no progress, but neither did you lose any progress. Alright. Now come on, get Come on Show us show us that dwarven strength, man. So um So you so you need to make, so basically you need to make, need to make another another strength check to see to like you're 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 straining but you're also you're holding you know a a, a heavy person by a cat. Uh, <laughs> can I can I can I yell to um, Megan to let go and grab to the other side <laughs> so mm-hmm. I can grab Stabby? You wanna. Coordinate all that, okay? I mean, you gotta. That that your plan is to have her is have her let go. Uh, yeah. Okay. Because I can't I can't hold on for much longer. Alrighty, well, just a tiny dwarf. Let go. So making we'll let's go. Making let's. <laughs> making let's go. But does not does not uh, get a hold of the other side and falls into the falls into the river and is carried Can Barry away. Can try to help? Huh? Can Barry oh. try to help? If you want to, if you want to give give me a dexterity to try to grab her while she floats past. Yeah, I will do. Oh, because you're in front. I will right. save her. Uh, the sturdy saving throw. Uh, dexterity check. Come on. Dexterity check. I believe in my dexterity check. And the Come most on. dexterous creature in this group. <laughs> oh, snap. Come on, suspense is killing me. Come on. Oh, snap. Ah, Drum roll. Ah. No. You, 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 feel, you feel her her fingers just, just like, sl- just ever so slightly brush yours as she just... Continues to be swept away. No. I curse out loud. Make it. <laughs> All this speed and I couldn't save her. Crap. So what we you guys gonna do? Making now. My dexterity makes dexterity twenty. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Um, <laughs> we gotta save her. Say, what are I we say, gonna do, we guys? Have to save her. I, yeah, I, I let go I, and jump after. I, I, no, after no, no, no. I, I actually br- brought out a, a grappling hook that I have, and I kind of hang oh. it there. Okay, okay. Well, wait, wait a oh, second. Good. You're on a little ledge, so if you're gonna take a moment, you're gonna have to like fiddle, fidget through your uh, ba- your pack one handed, and pr- probably make a dexterity check with disadvantage. Because you're trying to like hang on to this little ledge while trying to fetch a grappling hook. You can't. I mean, if, that, if that's the way you want I'll it, I'll save her. I'll save her. I'll do it. 
So there's a I few think... people jumping in the water to grab her. No, no, I, I just trust my instinct. I'm a, I'm a couple. This okay. is my land. Okay, so so you're you're going you're gonna you're gonna try to fish your your grappling hook out. Yes. Oh. Okay. Well, make a dexterity check. Come on, don't fall. Attention. No, I'm helping. I'll I'll tie it up. But we should have planned this. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Just as just as you right before you splash yeah, into the water, a... you it, re, it really comes into your mind that wow. by the time you got your grappling hook out, she would have been out of range anyway. But you you also you get, uh, you also get pulled into the stream. <laughs> Crap! <laughs> a scrimmage while I go. Are right, you have? You have one. You have one chance. One chance here, right here. Hold on. Oh snap! You have a bit of a a bit <laughs> of a, a a bit of a ledge here. You can. Wait. I don't think we can see that. It's a towards. It's a towards the side. Um. So if you go just a little bit, and they go and then and scroll up on the map. You can't see that. Oh yeah, yeah. You see it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, you see Barik? Yep. Oh yeah, I see. All right. So you, one more dexterity to see if you can grab onto that ledge in the in the rushing water. This is going good. This is going good. Doing great. <laughs> Look how I save myself, and then I'll save her. Oh snap! I couldn't believe it. Oh, <laughs> tonight is just I not hit your myself with that. Okay, <laughs> tonight is just not your night. What, so, what are you guys doing while Burry is trying to save himself? Oh, I had jumped after um, Machen. Oh, so you're all. What about Zerafina? Did Zerafina jump in too? Well, I guess I do. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll move. I'll move you guys. Hold on. And and you do know you do kind of uh, the your your pick up as you go past uh, flush past that the ledge with the mushrooms. You hear an ungodly shriek from from uh, some of the mushrooms. So glad we didn't get there. <laughs> oh, the ungodly shriek. <laughs> Shrieking mushrooms. That can't be good. Uh, oh. One moment, I'm revealing. I'm revealing the area. The infamous shrieking mushrooms. <laughs> oh, you've heard of them. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we're in trouble. Uh, have you not? It's truly <laughs> Arakano. <laughs> You're a professional. <laughs> Yo, I've been rolling very bad tonight. <laughs> wow. Oh snap! This doesn't look good at all. Oh wait, I have to scroll my. Uh -oh. Go to the left. To the left, to the left. Okay. Oh, this can't be good. Move the move the no. So that the people at home rest. see. Alrighty. All right. <clears throat> Narrator voice. The ceiling of this natural cavern is 30 feet high and covered with dripping stalactites. The underground stream pours from a northeastern tunnel into a deep fog shrouded pool. North of the pool is a beach, while while to the southeast is a large alcove with a mound of treasure situated in the middle of it. From this alcove, a narrow walkway hugs the edge of the pool and leads to a deep cavity in the south wall. You shall let side. Everybody, uh, let's see here. Everybody roll me a charisma check. A charisma check? Oh, I'm good at that. Uh, I was good at dexterity. 
Although. No. <laughs> Yeah, that was not good. I, I think I, I got might. a three. <laughs> I got a three. Look at look at that stabby and I. Three All right. So just like seconds after you hit the deeper pool, you have just enough time to see movement in the murky water before Zarafina is dragged under. Oh crap! Roll for okay. initiative. I think there's something in the blue. blue, blue. <laughs> Where is the uh, mansion? Is, is she here? <laughs> oh, so, yeah, she. I gotta break. I gotta break. Uh, uh, she was under the water seal. Wow. Yo, I gotta make up. The only thing is, I don't know how to save him. <laughs> Abby 13, Zerafina 13. <laughs> okay, discuss amongst yourself while I record uh, initiative real quick. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think I think he's trying to tell us something. Uh, she's trying to tell us something. <laughs> Um, so, I only have some cantrips left, guys. I I have no, no I, slots, no slots left. I haven't I mean, spelled I think, any. Yeah. Sp I haven't spent any spell at all. Well, okay. this is a great time. I'll be John to be throwing shurikens at people. I, I but still I, have. But I only got uh, two level three, two level one. What I do have is my lay on hands. I have twenty five HP I can use, and I have my channel divinity. Just, it just because no one, no one thought of it, but just because uh, being all alone, your ebony d flashing uh, next to you is also in there, is in the. Yes, I was hoping for that. Okay. Because I'm yeah, a nice because I'm a nice DM. <laughs> Thank you, DM. <laughs> this all is right. a real dragon adventure. All right, so. <laughs> Uh, Barik goes first. Barik is going to use his action to pull out a rope to to wrap around his friend. All right. Can I cast a can I cast a spell and and do that like pull the rope and then cast the spell? Um. Well, hmm. actually, I wouldn't be able to do anything else. So, what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna run with my knife and hit whatever is trying to to get Serafina. Okay. Well, first off, you're in deep water, so you're swimming. Oh snap! And you're you now in. In uh, in water, you have like you know your melee. You have the following uh, conditions: melee attack rolls have disadvantage, unless you have a, unless your character has a swimming speed. Exceptions to this are daggers, javelins, short sword, spear, or trident. Range attacks within range have disadvantage. Outside of range, you miss completely. Uh, exceptions being a crossbow, a net, or a weapon that is like a javelin, spear, trident, dart, whatever. And everything is, uh, and if you don't have a swimming speed, everything is ha is uh, uh, difficult terrain. So you move at half your speed. Hmm. So if it will be half my speed, I can still move fifteen feet because I'm a little bit fast. And you know what? I am gonna swim under the water. <laughs> And I am going to use my hands because I've been training myself with the monks for moments like this. And I'm going <laughs> to try to cut through whatever is doing it with my fingertips like Jed, like Rusty. Okay, so do you have a feature that, that uh, make, lets, you do lethal da attack. That lets you do lethal, <laughs> lethal damage on an, on, with an unarmed attack? Uh...
Well, I got my irregular on arm attack, and I'm a cobalt. I may have a little bit of claws there. Okay, so as you uh, you know, you try to see through the murky water, and you just make out a very lizard folk like uh, shape that is pulling Zarafina to the to the the bottom. So can I get you to can, it? Um. <laughs> Sure, you get you can you have a you have time for one attack, one one armed attack, one, one attack. unarmed attack. I am gonna center my energy and I'm gonna try to hit it beside the neck to get it to release my friend. May the gods be with me. Oh, damn. I actually hit it. And you get a critical. Nice. Yeah. I told you that I was going to save you. It only took me like 17 rolls. <laughs> <laughs> so. When it really when counts, my friend. When it really counts. Maximum <laughs> double maximum double damage. And... And uh, the creature uh, lets go of uh, Zarafina, who then serves. Yes. 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 <sighs> Perfect. All right. So, um, so since you just kind of I... came up from almost drowning, uh, you, you, you're, I'll let Stabby go first. Um, you guys are tied. Stabby can go. Can I? Can I help Zerapina out of the water? I'll um, try to do that. You guys can do like you guys can aid one another to try to to try to make it to the make it to the mm -hmm. uh, the edge of the beach. Okay, that's swim to shore. Yeah. yeah. Do, I, do I roll anything or just? Uh... Um, no, we'll say like we'll we'll say just to make things go uh, keep moving uh, smoothly. It takes the rest of all of your turns. To help each other to the shore. That makes get sense. to shore and get collected. Yeah. Pull out my daggers. Yeah. Oh wait, I, I think I only have one. <laughs> and I was with them, right? Yeah, you're with you're you're with you're with them. You you get yeah. get to the beach too. Oh, I'm happy. I thought get that my I was shield up. Tie up as my soon hair. as we get there, I said there was a lizard creature. That was pulling you under the water. All right. So just as you, just as you make it to the beach, Bethka the Lizard Queen jumps out oh, of the water. Snap. Oh, okay. Whoa. And he, let's see Bethka. here. What is? And she. Immediately, immediately goes goes into into chanting, into calling on her foul deity. Wow. I start charging my Kamehameha. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a very good plan. <laughs> So. I got queen. So, Dabby gets a deck save. <laughs> a lot of ease. Oh, I get a deck save. Jumping out of the way. Alright, so oh. she point she levels her claw her like rotting clawed finger right at Stabby and Matt, power from on high strikes you, but you kind of zip out of the way with your cat-like reflexes, and only a <laughs> one damage. Uh, I think oh, I may okay. have a feature that saves me from. Oh, that. do you have a, a you, you have like improved dodge or dodge? I could be confusing my characters. Something like that. <laughs> It's called believing. <laughs> okay, I'll use a key point. 
That's it. I use a key point to use defense, um, patient defense, and then I can... Uh... I mean, wait, 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 wait. You don't have to do anything because I have a reaction. Oh. That, oh. Uh, that, yeah, if you're next to me, I can use my reaction to this. Uh, within five minutes, you can use this reaction to reduce the damage of the target by 1d10. Plus you Damn, that's you cool. Hit... Yeah. Creature you can see hit the target other than you five feet. Uh, it doesn't it does attack, but it doesn't necessarily say like a spell attack. No, oh, that's kind of true. Oh, it's uh, yeah, because it's uh, it's a deck save, and if you get hit, yeah, never mind. Okay, what about this one? Right. <laughs> it's a wall of text. <laughs> um, it's the <laughs> it's the patient defense. It's the uh, last paragraph, or maybe the second to last paragraph. Oh uh, yeah, pretty, okay. You can point to take the dodge action. Okay. I mean, uh, how much yeah, sure. damage did you, did you take? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, you you only took one damage. Like you know, you save, so you only took one damage anyway. Yeah, yeah. You only took one damage. Uh, it was still very impressive. <laughs> stabbing. <laughs> if if you want to not take that one, do the dodge, not take that one damage. Do so. You know, who who am I to argue your play style? I'm gonna stick to my previous uh, <laughs> choice. Very good. You never know which type of magic it was. All right, then right. you then you definitely you definitely right. uh, step out of the way and take no damage. It looks more kick-ass that way. Now, it definitely does. And now, since, since all you, all the all the player characters uh, use their turn, it's back up to the top of the round. It's Barik. Murder her. Murder. <laughs> <laughs> What's your secret, Daddy? So, it's murder. <laughs> <laughs> murder. Right at that moment, Barik. I'm Barik listening. is going to throw. Just one second. No, but I'm just trying to open it. Right here. Barik is going to throw his claw run at the creature with his first attack and then with his second one he's gonna throw his other attack and I think I'm gonna get good at it and we got three actions correct uh yeah you can you have three actions Oof. so my last one is gonna be a shuriken to the to the eye <laughs> I move my oh, hands damn. faster than anybody could see, looking like almost like Batman or a cowboy, like bringing his gun. <laughs> what is the, what the hell is your attack bonus to that roll? Where twenty, you get a twenty six and twenty seven. That's not a critical. I mean, that's not a that's not a natural twenty. That's what a, the hell is your attack bonus? Plus eight. My eight. attack bonus is eight. Shit. Damn. All right. It's just because I'm a monk, and those are my weapons. Okay. <laughs> um. So you're you're making up for your saves. Holy shit. Okay. Oh. So, claw ring. You 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 just whip out that claw ring and just chuck it at the lizard queen. And you strike, and you, like, strike hard and get max damage, and the target's AC is reduced by 2d4 until the end of its next turn. Oh, that was a good hit. And so what is the damage dice on your claw ring? I just, uh... That's a... One, I think it's a 1d4. 1d4. Okay. So it looks like you, you, um, you did max damage then. Yeah. Then your Uthorang also hits the mark <laughs> squarely and gets another max damage, and the target must make a constitution saving or throw or be pushed back. That would be very impressive. And fails miserably. So... 
Ooh. out of rage for your new companion that just saved you just a little while ago being almost drowned in a scummy, murky pool, you just get all with all your cobalt strength. Just whip to uh to your two boomerang, two three and claw rang, and you hit that lizard queen squarely between the eyes each time. <sighs> and she and she is knocked back a cu uh a couple feet and you can tell she's definitely stunned for, stunned from the blow and you also and while not as oppressive your shuriken also hits it smart. <laughs> ah! right so uh stabby and Zerfina, you're both tied for uh initiative so you can you know you guys go at the same okay what are you planning Serafina? Because I'm, I'm throwing stuff. <laughs> the only oh, thing we can hear you. We can hear you. Screaming. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm no, I'm staying back and, and protecting y'all. So, no. yeah, throw your stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'll grab my throw your stuff, my beautiful dagger. I'm going to throw it at her. Oh. I think I lost a dagger. <laughs> <laughs> so is and this the 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 thing? Yeah, or that's is the it in the water. No, that's the lizard queen right there. No, she's on the beach. Oh. oh. All right. So Stabby's throwing a dagger and doing. Uh, wait. No, oh, that that second thing is not going to work. So oh, no, let me take back, that right. back. Okay, this one. So I throw a dagger and use Sacred Flame. I call upon the flames of Almonotor and I to burn her. Okay. It's a deck safe. Alright, yep, so your dagger your dagger goes actually you know your dagger does does hit thanks oh. to her being stunned. Oh yes. And oh snap! <laughs> oh. Teamwork. And while our monitor does answer your answer your your plea, you feel him still a little perturbed about your previous, you know, your previous dis indiscretions. Hmm. But you I'm do, still, I'm still for... <laughs> but you do, you still, you you still strike her and uh, a, a pre pretty solid, uh, pretty solid, and, and and have the satisfaction of a hiss of anger, pain. All right. Now yeah, that's my like, turn. Right, so is is she stunned? Well, she, enough that that her AC is dropping. Oh, then I I will smite. Then <laughs> I run towards. Oh, right. Does that stun right. uh, cause upper? Um, what's it called? Advantage. No, just drop the AC. Okay, just drop the AC. Right. It's like so, the special, the special ability for like. Uh, I can great. move towards her and hit her two times, right? Yeah, you get. Yeah, she's with. Yeah, you can move once. You're now you're on solid ground. Within range and smite. All right. Warhammer and Warhammer from the other side. Damn. What's up? Hmm. Oh, this, this. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's the shifting sand underneath your feet, or you're you know you're still a little it's shaken slippery. from almost drowning. Yeah, but uh, you're both no. your both your she's been the water on the wet. lungs. The the the, the, lizard, the handle is wet. The lizard queen uh, both times kind of like just kind of dodges aside, and your and your hammer misses her. That witch. Now you and now you hear now you hear hiss. I turn. Bring it. <laughs> Yeah. Mei Chen, look out. Bahrang. Alright, so anger and just desperation, she goes absolutely effing ham on. Rah. Let's see here. Oh. You see you see her head dart forward with her with her mm -hmm. uh her her jaws and 
you you manage to get your head aside and she and she misses she misses that one. Next comes up her claws. Your your luck still holds. You manage you manage to get get the hammer in front of her and deflect the claws. But next she grip she grabs a trident and oh snap. Again, misses. Damn, you guys are get have all the luck tonight. <laughs> it's because it's like, we're we, we're a small team yeah. of, like, of you, small people. He's like you 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 you, 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 uh, you remember the teachings of the famous Muhammad Ali, you know, Ali or whatever in the in the Forgotten Realms, and you, you know, duck and weave, man. <laughs> all right, uh, you gonna try and uh, you're gonna try and um. Uh, try, try to get your 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 friend over there to Ebony. Yes. Oh, right. But, uh, and uh, make and making also is gonna and get. Oh, and making right. Come up alongside. Come on. Gonna swing. Whoa. Swing for the fences. This lizard queen is going down. And gets only and does does manage to land a a, a, decent, a decent blow on the thing, but it, it seems to be a glancing blow off the just off the lizard. Hmm. Ebony, this is the lizard you need to kill. Get over here. If you're gonna, what try am to... I doing with Ebony? Is that an animal handling? Or... Yeah, if you're gonna actually try to influence the the, the wormling, you got to do animal handling. I have the I have no influence on this creature. And the, the the black dragon worm like again kind of looks at you for a second and like, nah, it's good. Mm. <laughs> All right, so top of the rounds, Barik, what you doing? Barik is going to run around and step over here. Okay. Ooh. So the lizard queen cannot Around. escape. Very good. There's there's no escape. We we offer no <coughs> mercy. Okay. And after using that movement, he got two other movement, and what he is going to do is going to uh, just punch at her knees. Okay. That good move. That good have move. Worked before. Right. I think that it may work right now. So. I am doing the on arm not strikes. There's one. It's coming through. Not reaching me yet. You just want to tell me what you roll what I got. It's going to come up eventually. Oh, snap. Uh, actually, you're going to like it. Well, what actually, you... I like it. Did you roll? What is it? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I. <laughs> Where they at? Where they at? I roll at 20 <laughs> on the first one. Oh no! Actually, I did not. Oh! I was on the second one that I rolled the twenty. That's a natural twenty, yeah. And that's a natural twenty. Twenty-eight. <laughs> that's ridiculous. What's Damn. with your I, roll? I'm telling you, when you go when you go for the knees while you're being <laughs> while, while you're two feet tall, it just works better. It's just like <laughs> it's throwing jabs. That's a good tactic. Because <laughs> yeah. it's just right up front. You don't have to lower your body or waste energy. It's just a, a small it's just jab. It's like your third or fourth crit. I know. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Bro, I, you I, just you I yelled... honestly failed all the previous checks. <laughs> You yell, get back! And when, as you swing, and... But the the lizard the lizard queen stands tall and is not pushed back, but, you know, it is. That's enough for me. And I, and I, I scream. <laughs> okay, <but> she's still... <laughs> to scare her off. She's still, she's still, uh, she's still uh, hanging in there, barely, but she she's looking... They got some loose scales. She's bleeding, but she's she's a fanatic. She is just in this to in it to win it. She messed with the wrong group of people. Seriously, damn, <laughs> three criticals. Holy shit! Yeah, I have like three failures trying to grab at things before. <laughs> All right, so it's, it's both of you guys, which you're both tied for initiative. So it's your turns. Stabby, you gotta do you a combo attack. And... 
Okay. Dude, <laughs> yeah. I, I spent I spent um one of my actions praying to a monitor. Oh my goodness! Please help shine your light in this dark cave and help me burn this witch. And then I cast sacred flame again on her. Right. That may work. And she f and she fails to save, but I mean, think think of like you know how 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 uh you know how long like uh, someone like hopped up on meth or coke can uh, can withstand the police you know the police man that's what you're dealing with right now. <laughs> so she's you know she is singed and beaten and bloody, but she is still <laughs> up for the fight. Oh my god. Okay. Um. And then. She must succeed on a deck save. So she failed, and then she gains no benefit from cover or. Uh, wait, what? Take her flame sounds good. Mm -hmm. mm, no, it only does damage. Never mind. So, Zerfina, what you doing? <laughs> Triple hammer smite. Triple uh, hammer. <laughs> Oof. Oh, oh, at least one. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's ah, you in the first. We're definitely having a good session. So you see... after, <laughs> all right. So after the second, I remembered the words of my friend, and I went for the knees. <laughs> <laughs> so you, yeah, the first one misses, second one misses, and you summon more in again to you and center yourself, and you just unleash all your fury with a third one and you have the satisfaction of that lizard queen just going down. Yeah! Yeah. You know that scene in, in Lord of the Rings where they all hug and they're all jumping <laughs> when they get... That's, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm like, hey, it's our I'm celebrating just a second ago you were drowning, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, I and then I remember that there down. was another creature but, back there, and I turned around. What? Well, scared. Hold on. Hold on. You have barely enough time to celebrate. Oh no! When you see ah! a black, you see a black scaly horn head pop up through the water and just level this gaze right at you. What? <sighs> Dabby, I love your reaction. There. That was uh, that was. Yeah, I felt crisis. one of my little nine lives just flying away. <laughs> okay. But oddly <laughs> enough, he, he at the moment he's just kind of like he spends a moment just kind of you feel you just like feel that that draconic gaze just kind of pierce right down into your in, into your soul before he like before he a very rumbly voice says, "What are you doing?" I kill you, and I jump. <laughs> what are we doing? Here? Oh, God. Come on. So you you might want to restrain Stabby. Just say. Yeah. I I I cover Stabby's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I look at Ebony and see what Ebony's doing. Uh, okay. See how, um, it, how it reacts. Uh, right, and you see. Ev you know, Ebony for the first time actually perk up on his own accord and walk up and like kind of swim through the water and as affectionately as a black dragon can you know you sh you know, it greets this other the larger one <laughs> that must be kind of weird ah yes so oh great uh dragon whatever uh <laughs> we came we have come to bring you your uh offspring back and kill you or something <laughs> stabby no yes <laughs> <laughs> okay if, if, are you like really saying that stabby because i will uh, i will rp that if, if that's what you're really saying i am I, saying it i'm, I'm covering it. stabby's mouth uh, okay. Let me, let, no, he, let me be a bit a bit stronger. He, okay, I'm covering I, Stabby's mouth. <laughs> he, he said it, so let's see here. Um, oh, smell. Are you 
Roll an intimidation check if that's what you're going for. <laughs> Who's rolling the intimidation? You. Oh. I am oh. to intimidate Stabby. <laughs> <laughs> no. Because I'm not even intimidated. I'm just going for it. But but let's let's roll it anyway. Did I roll? Do the intimidation yeah. you're scared. All right, so the dragon is neither amused nor intimidated and you and just swims a little closer. Swims a little closer I don't want right to up to the edge here. And I, I'm retrieving my dagger that was on the floor. And you just like that long neck just goes right past Zerafine and everyone else, and you like you just being the little the little cat that you are, you're smaller than its entire head. And just kind of mm. levels you with <laughs> levels you with that gaze and and said, I'm not, I'm neither the neither the time or the inclination to, to deal with this knack, right? How close is is, it, is the dragon to my face? No, Stabby, no. <laughs> but Barry, but <laughs> tell me. Unfortunately, <laughs> within Barry, within striking Barry, distance, if that's what you're going to do. Ebony. Ebony. I just grab, I just grab my dagger from the floor. I'm going to jump and I'm going to stab it in the eye. Oh, Are you seriously yes. going to do this? Yes, I'm doing it right now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh snap. Oh, snap. We better dagger. run. <laughs> <sighs> okay. <laughs> Serafina, you're gonna save us. Dabby. Let's take a right wisdom now. saving throw. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna do anything. You know, just go for it. Oh, uh, he's a saving throw. Yeah, is that the wise thing to do? I say oh. it's probably. You didn't. Oh crap! So <laughs> you, uh, right after you, you attempted to stab the 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 large adult black dragon. You feel an. In just an un an unimaginable and unavoidable wave of fear yes. wash over you, <gasps> like so, like you are, you are like you, you are frightened. Like we're just kind of rooted in place. <laughs> I turn, <you> curl into <laughs> a little ball on the floor, and I'm and trembling, ma making stuff forward to try to defuse the situation, and you know. Thrust Stabby right to Zerafina to get a better hold on on, on your little uh, <laughs> ball of fluff and try to play literally you Rene. and placate just like yeah. try to placate the dragon like forgive forgive our exuberant friend oh oh powerful oh powerful worm do I have a bag or something do you do you have a, do you have a sack in your inventory I mean I think I can put no I don't it's okay. I I agree. But the be dragon. warned, Stabby. Be warned. <laughs> <laughs> You're ready. To... <laughs> okay. Oh, anyway, I'm cowering in, on the floor. I yeah. can't even look up. <laughs> you have disadvantage on pretty much everything. Um. Oh, pardon. Uh, the cre you, and you can't willingly move closer to the source of your fear. I also need to run away from the source of my fear. It does not say you have to run away, but as long as you're okay. within line of sight, you have disadvantage on pretty much everything. That's probably for the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the, you know. dra the dragon gives like a really, really exasperated sigh or what you gather is a sigh from the dragon and, and just says tell me tell me what you, tell me what you want i look at serafina what and then look at want? ebony and then look You're... at serafina again well you came here looking for something uh did we let me, let me. 
Uh, check here my notes. I'm just. Barik is just scared that, yeah, that there's there were, two like, dragons just right um, now in front of him. There were some stones or tablets that we were looking for. Uh, altars. What was it then? Altar. Altars. An altar. Oh, this is not moving. An altar, was it? Yeah, it was the dragon's one. Remember, he stole a, a, a black dragon, you know, stole, uh, attacked that. Uh, Prom's hole and and uh, ask and, and ask for a ransom of that st of that uh, 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 coral altar, then took away. Right. So we're looking for the altar. Mm -hmm. We need to take it back. Yes. I don't know how we're gonna carry it, but yes. I mean. We have a dragon. <laughs> do we? <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, exactly. Do we? Uh, so, oh, exalted one, big, great dragon, scary thing. We are looking for an altar, <laughs> right? Uh huh. Uh, he dragon regards you, regards you for for a very long moment. And again, you you just you get the you get a sense of just for some reason this this dragon isn't spoiling for a fight at the moment. He indicates indicates the uh, the alcove to the south and says, "Go over there, take it and go." You have brought you have brought my off my my offspring back to me. In return, mm -hmm. I, sh I shall let you I shall mm -hmm. let you leave with your lives. We as long, be as, long as you take way. it and leave now. We shall be out of your way in no time. Oh, great, powerful one. Thank you. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's take the treasure. I grabbed the, the queen uh, trident on my way there. And my boomerangs. Oh. I'm just you're sticking you're, to you're my, my Okay, well. One second. All right. Hey. So, Check the queen. Let's get the altar and, and let's get You said you were trying to get the treasure too? Yeah. Get the treasure too. There was a well, mound of treasure, right? Yes, but you're going to try to steal a dragon's treasure while he's sitting right there. Oh, right. No. Let's, <laughs> no, let's no, just no. take the altar. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think that the altar is the like best option. Which way is the exit? Well, first off, the, the altar is down here. Behind, uh, oh, okay, over there. Behind three other dragon eggs. Oh, oh, dragon oh. eggs. Okay, so how, how big is this altar thing? Okay, so the altar can we is, carry it? The altar is sunk in the mud. Um, it weighs it weighs about five hundred pounds and is awkward to move. Oh, snap. so. It would take. It takes a, You know, you'd have to be make. You have to make some strength checks. Uh, but, but the four of you, the three of you plus Macon, can mm -hmm. slowly and with effort, um, you know, dra uh, carry it out. After taking a few deep breaths and getting my my a little bit of my courage back, I I approach the altar and. Try to figure out how to move it. Uh, Careful of the eggs. <laughs> so Would we can. It'd be okay it. if we, we move we, the eggs we, out of the way rolls. so we don't crush them. Uh, with a rat, with a very deep guttural, guttural sigh, the the dragon comes over moves his eggs out of the out of the way <coughs> i'm still a little afraid of the big dragon <coughs> Ooh, either do any of you have uh nate uh, uh nature check nature uh, are proficient proficient in nature mm, not me i am proficient in nature. nature roll a nature check 
There you go. Good. So as the dragon as the dragon moves the eggs, you you <laughs> you know, your your knowledge in this area, you notice that something is very off about the egg. Something is very off about the eggs, guys. I've noticed. Um, I am proficient in medicine. Can I tell something about it? It's a yeah. I'm, you know, the, I mean, it's a dragon. You're not. You're not going to try and do anything terrible, especially considering you just tried to stab it in the eye. I very clearly like show him my empty. I retract my claws. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> no, right, I'm just gonna you check the yeah. health of your eggs. I'm not gonna attack you anymore. I can keep swear. And, and then I well, uh, take a, a persuasion check. Persuasion. Persuasion. Here it is. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come. Let's just get the altar and, and yeah. All right. Then as soon, like a bit, as soon as the dragon like kind of has it takes a moment, kind of also feels the eggs, and you from your vantage point, you you see like they're they 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 give. They're not like a hard egg and mm. like leathery and kind of squishy. Mm. And he all and and then he also set sets them down. What did you do? We haven't done hmm. anything. Scream Barik. We just came for the altar. We just we just came here. You just saw us come here. Come here. <laughs> we haven't done anything. I say in the Raconic. Oh, then persuasions, guys. Persuasions. Persuasions. I tell the dragon that you see, we have done a strange wrong. blight was affecting the lizard folk in the upper levels. I haven't done anything. You all maybe there's a sickness. Worm. Oh, you gray master worm! I say, draconic. We haven't done anything. I swear. <laughs> maybe there's a sickness in the water or somewhere. That's Yo, could it be true? <laughs> Mia <laughs> Serafina. Okay, Both Zer made it up. with with with, with Zer Zerafina's calmness and Barik shouting in uh, Draconic, they managed to to persuade the dragon. Though he he continues to cast a sideways glance at Stabby. Not quite sure if he trusts the cat. I lose another one of my ghosts. And, and, but you, ghost lives. One yeah. you know, large black black scaly clawed hand go like points to Stabby. Can, you, you like. You really can you really fix this? Well, can, no. can, can <laughs> we? Well, I guess we can I mean, try. I mean, there was a. I mean, we can try. We did find a fountain upstairs that that did <gasps> heal oh, us, snap. right? So maybe, maybe there's a chance that we can heal the eggs, right? Oh, you, persuade, you, you persuade them that you're not there to try to you, that you didn't do any of the eggs, but now you gotta you know can you persuade them to apparently not apparently anyone else trying persuasion? Good. I'm gonna persuade him on draconic. Oh great master, we just want to <laughs> see if we can heal your your offspring. You have Maybe seen our loyalty. Action, right? You must do something here where I can see you. It's up to you, Stavi. Uh, I mean, if you leave it to me, it's going to be. Stavi, Stavi, it's your moment to shine. When we feel you shine, <laughs> you're going to say something <laughs> miraculous to me. Big black leathery one. Um, can we have a few hours to rest? We can use our magics to try our best to heal your offspring. I mean, offspring. If, it's, if it's healing, I. I... I can try and heal with my hands. Oh. Let me. You let being me. you being looking like the more trustful of the bunch. 
he eyes you warily, but doesn't doesn't make a move as you move towards the you move towards the eggs. All right, I I close my eyes and lay my hands on one of the eggs and say a little say a little healing prayer. All right. So nothing. So you you try all your, all your might, but nothing seems to be happening. And as you, but as you as you touch the eggs with your hand, you also feel like it's they're you know, they're not like actual eggs. They're very squishy and soft and spongy. And you and you feel both feel and hear something inside making very unnatural sounds. Uh... Did, did Barry saw that? <laughs> what? Does Barry see this? That that they're seeing with the dragon eggs from, what, from is she, here? Is there a feeling because she's like right up next to one and like touching it? Yeah. Are you sure these are your your eggs? <laughs> Uh, he very, very, you know, look like he looks like he's very much losing patience, but says yes. I don't know, guys. Hmm. I can try to have an inside check to try to see if I can connect with the creature inside and understand what is happening. Wow. All right. <laughs> Since I am a, a, a cobalt, and this is just a dragon. It make that inside check. I'm good at that and I'm handling animals. That's the only thing. Coming up. It's coming up. Drum roll. Uh, oh, snap! <laughs> All right, so being Actually, having having some like an insight into draconic things, Bar uh, Barik has an I has an idea and uh, asks and you know asks um, the uh, Zerafina Zeraf to cast light on something <clears throat> and to hold it up against the egg. Zerafina, make a magic light. I need to see. I mean, like uh, an actual like light. You 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 can cast you, you can cast the light spell, can't you? Uh, no, I cannot. I have. Uh, I wouldn't cast the light spell on for Macon like a, have, before. I do. No, I, 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 I can. Oh, okay. Then yeah, he he has glow, he has stabby to do it. I, my bad. Yeah. All right. So he oh, stabby like stabby casts light on a on a, on like a a rock from the beach <clears> and holds it up to the opposite side and. Uh, you the form you see like in shadow, like the the outline you see is not does not look like a dragon, but looks like some kind of corrupted, like uh, slimy, um, vaguely serpentine thing. And for <clears throat> and for and furthermore, you you get this sense like you you look from the egg to the altar, and back to the egg, and if. And finally, in, in now that you're kind of clued into it, you you can kind of feel just like the this evil aura just kind of radiating off of the altar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh the, snap! The altar has corrupted the eggs. I mean, I guess it's too late, right? Yeah, Bri <sighs> Bri can definitely tell that it that they these 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 uh, eggs are beyond saving at the. All right, I break one of the eggs. <gasps> no, ah, no. So it spills out, and the dragon sees. Are you actually gonna break the egg? Yeah. So it spills out, and the dragon sees it spill out. <laughs> Very, get what? out of the way. All right. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> These are not your offspring. <laughs> These are corrupted by the. Okay. Here's what we're gonna. Altar. Here's what we're gonna do. I don't. We don't need a. I don't need a full initiative round. So. Just make a dex <laughs> make a dexterity check. We'll do a pose dexterity check. Oh my lord! 
I hope that the dwarf is dexterous. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking well, about. That type of speed. Well, it is an opposing check. And you, you, you were, <laughs> you know, no. With, with no one expecting your actions, you manage to beat the dragon to the punch, and before he can oh. stop you, you manage to actually break o break open the egg, and out pours this, what kind of looks like a cross between a water elemental and a serpentine kind of jellyfish, jelly thing. Oh, um, uh, that seems evil. And... But it wasn't it wasn't quite ready, so it, it you know it it, it Excellent. briefly keeps its form, then just kind of melts into this oozy pile. All right. The elder I say. Killed I say. The eggs. What? Uh, these are not your offspring. The author has corrupted the eggs. Uh, okay. Make one final persuasion. Oh snap! Come on, riding on this one. <laughs> horrible, horrible, horrible roll. You were in luck because the dra the dragon right. also ro also ro rolled <laughs> very very low. So uh, a heavy a heavy moment of silence kind of falls upon the entire uh, the entire area as this as this dragon just kind of look just kind of contemplates contemplates with it, what's going on and eventually he give gives this this sigh like uh, something that's in that's in between that's kind of a mix of exasperation. Uh, in a, maybe tinge with a tinge with a little fear as he as he just says his Trish washes his hands of this of this situation. Says, I'm not waiting for her to come back to this. He just mm. dives down into the pool with and and the black dragon wormling follows. Wait. Yo, we better I get this altar and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Barrick said out loud. Uh, he's like, mm. we have play with our lives too much this day. What if this altar turns us all into goo? Should we really take Should we destroy it? I would. Well, first uh, of all, I want to destroy the other eggs. Oh, yes. Right? <laughs> Please. I'm not going to kill or destroy anything else. I have been too violent. You, if you feel like <laughs> if you feel like breaking over breaking open each egg. I am going to destroy the egg. Well, in front I've, of me. I've First, I see how how well done are they. <laughs> how, uh, <laughs> That's a very good idea. how far? How far are they? Uh, they're about the same. That yeah, you know, about the same as the one you just broke. All right, smash, Hulk. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna yeah. smash. I'm gonna electrocute. I have a big hammer. All right, same, same thing happens. You break over. Break over the two eggs. The the these. Things come out briefly, kind of hold their form, then just kind of melt. What kind of creature does? And now that I mean, and now that you're cl now that you're, you're close to the altar, you, yeah. Altar is made of blue coral, and its sides are carved to resemble crashing waves. And uh, we're meant to uh, return the. The altar or to task with, whom? task with doing to the the Baroness. Oh, to the Baroness. Let's just take it there so they can hide it where they haven't hid it, so nothing can happen. I mean, I this would destroy. This is a dragon lair. Yeah, but if you want to destroy it, I'll try to help you. I mean, I know your opinion on this. Uh, Stabby, what do you think? Well, I would instead ask Machen. Machen. Megan. <laughs> Megan. What's what your is opinion your Macon? opinion of the Baroness? Is she an evil person? And he thinks for a moment says, I would call, 
you would refer to her as more of a stern but fair type of person. Okay, guys. I don't know why a stern but fair person would want an altar for evil. So maybe we give her the benefit of the doubt. We take it back? Mm hmm. All right, let's take it back. What do you think? I mean, one, two, three. <clears throat> well, the, the other advantage is now, <laughs> now, with, now with no dragon, there's a pile of treasure that. Yep, I was going to say that. Uh, we should quickly get out the altar, and if the dragon hasn't come back, then yeah. No. You haven't run? <laughs> no. No. I'm going to get stronger. And then when I can defeat this dragon, I'm going to take its treasure. Barik is looking around for any treasure. Goals. Goals, goals. Wait. Actually, should we? What? Should I mean, we what? I mean. We already killed our babies. The dragon didn't eat us. Right? And it could have at, at any moment. So. I mean, and we did help him with the, with kids the and eggs, eggs and stuff. So maybe we have a dragon friend now, right? Mm. <laughs> let's say, let, let's start with something small and we can take it from there. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm not going to steal from a live dragon, but you guys do. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I think that we should wrap up the, 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 I mean, the uh, we should wrap up the, the, the altar first the in altar. ropes so we can carry it easier. Oh, and then we, what well, we do idea. that we look a little bit to see what is around. <clears throat> do you have rope? I have, rope I do have, rope. I think I have chains also. Yeah. I have chains also. If, wow. if need be if it comes to it oh and manacles always handy i don't have rope i got a rope oh i do have rope yeah i have rope okay so how about this you after about 15 minutes of jostling and you know failed attempts at getting each other's way and kind of you know pretty much roping doing a, around bring pretty much doing a three suited routine uh, you know, you, you managed to rig up this really rickety and, sh and iffy rope system where it ma that makes it slightly easier to carry, <laughs> to carry the altar. All right. Do so we need to carry gonna... it out the same way we came you, in? Well, first off, you guys need to make uh, strength checks. Oh, snap. But is there any treasure around, though? Yeah, there there is treasure... In this alcove, and I, if you're talking, Zerafina, I can't hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. So, let's walk, let's get these to that <laughs> alcove. <laughs> I sleep. All right, so uh, we're so strong. Oh my god! In the interest of time, we'll just say it takes you quite a while. It, it takes you. Two weeks to get no, it. not the <laughs> whole month <laughs> to take it by out. with the ropes and dragging and pulling and pushing and you may, you the can move at run. like let's say ten feet per round. That's decent. So that's real. So, so which way are you carrying it out? I mean, yeah, but yes, there really there is there. treasure in this alcove. We we should pass <laughs> from here to here, and while we're here, the the altar is gonna hide us a little bit, you know, so we can look in here. He just really <laughs> wants to pick through that treasure box, doesn't he? I I'm just interested. You never know. Maybe they got a like a special so... claw run or something like that. So, do we see another exit or something? Oh. Yeah, that do was my question, too. Do I, a persuasion. I also do a perception. Or I mean, not persuasion, it's perception, yeah. Uh, perception. Perception, perception. Let me see what I percept. Bad but you're a dwarf, right? 
Yeah, I'm a dwarf. I know caves and stuff. Maybe if you press this rock. <laughs> so <No? laughs> once you get once you get keep, carry it like at least to at least out of the alcove, like right here, you do you do notice that right where you uh next to where you river bottom of a set of steps aha oh here we go people we have steps yes. okay let's carry these down the steps okay so yeah you're going like it's taking you quite a while but you're going 10 feet per around <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, grab your grab your token. Okay. Pivot. 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 Are you leaving pivot. Marie unattended while he goes like goes past attempting pallet gold? I was trying to keep an eye on him, telling like, don't steal from a live dragon. You have to kill it. Given the fact that you're the one that uh, tried to stab it in the eye, I don't think you're. Yeah. You're. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it was principles. Uh, I look at Stally I, and roll my eyes. <laughs> we have to kill it first. Well, while I was passing through here, I am going to use <laughs> the ability of my cape to try to hide a little bit and slurk a little bit over here to see if I can see something. I what cover myself with my cloak. Okay, so area cured. You can hide as a bonus action, even if you no save for that, or I guess not. It's a wondrous item. Yeah, so you pillow your cape around you, and all of a sudden you just a shimmer, a shimmer of of air, and Stabby no longer sees you. <laughs> Perfect. What? what? <laughs> you all, Zerafina sees the stair stairway goes up. Oh. All right. So Bari, while not being observed, you quickly estimate that the tre that the small pile of treasure contains. Uh, 12,500 copper pieces, 5,100 silver pieces, 700 gold pieces, and a very fancy and exquisite suit of tinted Oh, snap! That radiates uh, magic. Very fancy, he said. Okay, it's I definitely that need to get that suit to carry magic. it, even if I don't use this type of things. I... <laughs> I'm like, oh, let me try to put it inside my bag slowly. Like, <laughs> Do you have space in noise. your bag for a full suit of scale, scale mail? I can, I can start throwing things there. <laughs> uh, I, don't... I don't think I can carry a, a, a scale mail there, okay. though. Uh, well, I'm not maybe usually... I can wrap it. Well, I'm not usually one to, to, to really pay attention to encumbrance or weight. Um... You're a little cobalt, so I'll give you the coins, but you yourself can't carry the scale mail, no matter, and you don't have enough room in your bag. Okay, that's legit. what we need is so, a bag you know, of holding. You know, for uh, stuff we like get this. What, you get, we get what we get. I'm gonna grab the coins and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna tell Serafina about the armor. No, no, be. Oh, I think gone. Robert lost his, uh, Stabby lost his connection. Yeah, you, lost you, you, uh, you glitched there, Stabby. What did you say? I, I was, I was going to come up with an idea for, for Barik, but then I realized, I remembered that I'm not approving his stealing of the, of the armor, so I'm not yeah. going to say anything. <laughs> Great, so what did I, you do? I walk over <laughs> and, I, and I tell Serafina about the armor, and I tell our friend. I There's can hear you. It is. <laughs> I can. 
I I think it is unwise, my friend, to steal from a live dragon. But it's uh, thank you for reminding. Me. <laughs> 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 and now I know. Uh, I I say I say hold hold this bag and give me your bag. Like the, the one that got the empty bag. <laughs> he is really determined to just walk away with everything. Oh, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm, starting to get, I'm starting to get scared. I may I may run away, but that dragon armor sounded. I know it sounds easy. it sounds like you're finally convincing Stabby. He seems to be faltering in his uh oh my I'm God. Gonna help you. Okay. Use your It was it was it, it was you know, he had magic my friend coming out of it. Spread your nature's mantle on the floor, put the armor in it, and then tie up the mantle into a little bag, and then you have an extra sack. And put it on top of the altar, and then we drag it off. Or it gets cursed, and we all turn to goo. Ooh. But, <laughs> but yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> what, the putting on the altar or the turning to goo part? Uh <laughs> I was thinking about putting it in the altar, but you know, like we're pretty much touching that thing to carry right. it around. So yeah, like right. how bad is gonna get for real? <laughs> hey, it's up to you guys. Yeah. Okay. Well, it, so, it's well, don't put it on the I'm altar, not gonna but, wait yeah. for the dragon to arrive. I'm just okay. gonna grab it and I'm gonna go as slowly as I can. Has okay. uh as stealthy as I can. All right. Like, I have to remember to come here and kill the dragon. Yeah. Ebony's gonna be big then. And Mrs. Dragon's gonna be here too. Yeah, we gotta get the hell out of here. Yeah. We're in okay, trouble. so now can you help me with the altar? <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I can help you carry it. Like, I'm even gonna roll a strength check and everything, so you know that I'm truly helping you. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a look. Of the stairs. <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. doing my part. <laughs> <laughs> All right, none of you are really doing good right now. So, so we're you, nervous. We're nervous. You we're meant, like, yeah. So, but again, I'm not good. You just you're like slowing down to a crawling pace up these stairs. So, hey, but but, eventually, hey, you but. do make it again by pushing and pulling and 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 stuff. You make it up. You, you do make it up the stairs. You actually, come out. I'm telling you that armor was mm. was amazing. This room. Hmm. All right, the walls of this room are lined with red clay bricks. Brown water seeps between these bricks, forming brown puddles on the stone floor. Someone has piled dead leaves, loose earth, and other gunk and stuff in the southwest corner of the room creating a mound that looks like it might be a bed. Narrow brick passageway leads west. In Well, that's where you came from, so. Okay. A mud bed. Mud bed. So that means that we can try to squeeze from here to there? What's the? Where is the there end? anything in particular? Like, what's in the pile of mud? Um, do a search or, or your perception or investigation, whichever one. Okay. All right. So beneath the the bed of sorts, you find a rotted but unlocked wooden chest containing six hundred copper pieces. Six pink pearls in a leather pouch, a silver framed hand mirror of elven design. Oh, that's nice. And that's. I want to keep that. It. <coughs> mm. And the mirror is encrusted with dry mud. I like the pearls in the leather pouch. 
And 500 copper? Um, 600 copper. Ooh, 600 copper. And because I, I forgot to blot out that, that little portion, we're all, we're all we're pretty much done anyway. That is a secret path. I'm going to search for secret passages on the right side of the... Yeah. <laughs> I want to check the walls for secret passages. <laughs> yes, I found one. Well, well, what do you know? You got lucky. And you know, and you know like the, the door right here has like a little peephole through it. Where someone in here could conceivably see the area beyond and the main area where you fought the the lizard folk ambush. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. Hmm. So you guys, before before you, yeah, I'm not again. I'm not going to belabor the point, but you want to do anything? Any last actions, explorations before before you uh, make your way out? Uh, did we? No. Yes. I mean, <coughs> there's nothing else. Oh, yes. what creature was over the over the? Oh, those those were just mushrooms. mushrooms. Those were just the mushrooms. mushrooms. Oh. But they were shrieking. The shrieking mushrooms. Yes. So you want to check those out? No. Wait. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I'm gonna step out on this bridge and look. look Technically, it's not a bridge. It's a, it's like a, a tunnel. Over the tunnel, like 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 I mean, it, it's it's a, it's uh, can I look a, over the water. No, it, no, it's in the ceiling above, like a, in like in the oh, in the ceiling. Okay, it's a tunnel okay, through okay. the yeah above the okay. the the okay, river. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, there's only so, so much you can do with a two D map. We do have okay. uh, four, maybe three whole uh, lizard folk on the other room. So maybe we want to make sure that those they are more, either they must be like dead bodies asleep or dead or what my question is like what about these eggs that we're carrying oh the well, carrying crawler eggs? eggs well yeah they're just kind of sick they're just making everything in your pack gooey and sticky yeah i don't know why you're you're carrying <laughs> okay so on whose but, uh, back, but back I, I have a silver mirror. I got one, and you got one. <laughs> <Okay. Yes. laughs> All right, yeah. Before before I, we just before we start to just kind of do like the the epilogue and stuff, uh, you guys wouldn't do want to do anything else here before you do. Uh, not not really. I think. Do you want to no, kill I'm anything gonna, else? I'm gonna leave the bucks alone. No, yeah, I just want to see alone. my armor <laughs> <laughs> that I cannot use. <laughs> All right. I think that that not not trolling that dragon anymore was the best thing ever. <laughs> I don't know how we survived Stabby jumping All to right. stop the eye no. of a dragon. Like oh my God, hard. Stabby. Yeah, Stabby. Impressive Stabby mid jump, right. but like that was still impressive, you know. <laughs> All right, so you have a long trek through the lizard marsh ahead of you, carrying. A heavy stone altar. Yeah. Step by step. Right? It took you about, what did I say, about half a, no. Yeah, about half a day. 18 days. days. <laughs> about half a day to get to, half a, half a day and change to get there from, um, from hold. So it's, so going at this rate is going to take you much longer than that. So... Are you gonna, what are you guys like? You gonna try to push on through? Gonna go and then? How, how are you moving through the list? Of the marsh? No. So I think that way should. Do it? That's actually a very good question. I think that we should um, send word to the Baroness and then have her send us some help to carry it back. It just makes more sense. All right. All right, so First gonna, of all, we have to rest. Right. Yeah, are you gonna um, gonna like rest temple? That's probably not a bad idea. Gonna, we are. Yeah. Well, we're actually before taking going a couple out. Of things that we shouldn't. So we. Oh, that's true. We shouldn't stay that long. 
But anyway, if we don't rest here, we're going to be caught out in the open anyway and not rested. So it's true. Yeah, we should rest as, as soon as possible. OK, so we take a rest, a long rest, I guess. And then um, we can send, send mention or I can go get someone to send word and then get somebody back. Yeah, like a group of soldiers or I don't know, somebody. The cavalry, the cavalry. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to rest tonight inside the temple? Yes. Um, just just inside, yeah. So, so, oh, it's so like just inside the, uh, the, the large main room? The, the main entrance, yeah. Just not to be out in the open. And I'll take first shift. For the lookout. And your tokens are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So which? So where? So where? Which room? Or where are you? Uh... Uh, yeah, I yeah. I think remember. just in this general area here, so we can see the entrance. I'll, I'll stay kind of closer to the entrance just to be. Um... Oh. All right. So you take first. You take first watch. Okay. So order your watches. Who like what order are you gonna? I, I was. I can go. Whenever. Yeah, I can go an hour too. I can stay awake first. You guys can take a nap and I can just hide and just watch. No, you but guys. I I I took first watch, so you can okay. take the second so one. So I'm gonna go to sleep. Me, so and make it, make, the make, the an, make an old one. volunteer to take the uh the second one. There you go. Yeah. I can take the other one, the next one, or the last one. Whatever. All right. So, Stabby's, Stabby's watch passes uneventfully, and Macon comes up to you and taps you on the shoulder, and, you know, go, go head, off, head on off the bed. Sweet. And... About a little while, just like you, very shortly after you start to doze off, all of you feel very heavy. You are suddenly um, being held by some magical force. Force. The evil I force. Am... <clears throat> evil? Is it evil? Magical. Oh. So you have just you have just enough time to what to you know, uh you can watch helplessly as as Macon stands uh, stands up, approaches the altar, and smashes it open. Oh snap. Really? Open? Oh no, altar. And Alter. as soon as as soon as it smashed open, a rush of water comes out, forming water elemental right in the middle of the right in the middle of the hall. Oh, no. Meanwhile, oh, meanwhile, meanwhile, make uh, make it reaches in and pulls out what looks like a perfect spherical orb of ice, and okay. then get flashes really good, flashes you fra- flashes Stabia. A evil looking grin and disappears in front of your eyes. What? He was what? evil? Machen disappeared? Yep. With the you orb? just yep, you just see you just see her fade away. And now mm-hmm. And as soon as she does, the 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 the, the, the holding spell Seraphina, you're not on here? Uh, I accidentally you deleted it. <laughs> deleted my, okay, my. Hold my. on, hold on. 
<laughs> what am I? Sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> she stole Seraphina. She kidnapped her. Washed away with the water elemental. What did I just see? Did an elemental come out and then Machen take it? No, no, no. The Megan... elemental's still there, so you guys need to roll initiative. Oh, crap. Ah! Oh. <laughs> and Macon. And Macon disappeared? Just peaced and just peaced out. Just peaced out. That witch. No, I'm tiny. So I'm just fast. So I guess that at least uh, Serafina and Barik got their long rest. I'll give them a short rest. Okay. Short rest? But not you not actually recover any HP. So, okay. so so it's like nothing. So I, I mean, like you, like if if you only, if you you get every other benefit of, of any kind of rest, you just don't recover any agent. There's your you yeah. have control over your token again. Yeah, there are some features that get reset after a short rest. Yeah, get get reset after. Yeah, but uh... like spells. No, mm, not spells. Not. not spells, but some or features. Warlocks. Yeah, some features. Uh, Channel divinity. Here you go. Yeah, but I haven't used that. Yeah. Oh yeah. I have to get going soon. Also. All right. Well. Okay. Since you, since you have to you have to get going in like the the big <gasps> moment already happened. Let's just say mm -hmm. you guys did the, you know, uh, exercise the better part of Valor and just ran. <laughs> you ran? I mean, nothing says you have to stay there and fight the water elemental. That's right. true. We don't have the altar anymore. We don't have the altar, right? So, Can and we, we have all the loot though? that you took <laughs> from the dragon. Yeah, so. they have the loot. So, is, is the There's water bolts. elemental's fault? <laughs> well, the, okay. I mean, the, the water uh, water elemental can follow, but you know, you can still run. Yeah. 